Hi, I'm Vanessa, Marketing Specialist at StructureWorks. And for the next few minutes, we're going to show you the basic installation steps of a freestanding Trex pergola on a concrete patio using our concrete mounting kit. Before getting started, check the installation instructions that you receive with your order for measurements and information specific to installing your pergola. The first step of installing your pergola is to properly lay out the column locations. Proper column placement will help to ensure that your pergola will stand straight, square, and look great. For detailed instructions on column installation, be sure to watch our video Installing a Trex Pergola Column Using a Concrete Mounting Kit or Installing a Trex Pergola Column Using a Deck Mount Adapter Kit. Begin installation by drilling a 6 inch deep hole using a 5 8 inch bit. Be sure to clean all of the debris from the hole after drilling using a nylon bristle brush and compressed air. Starting at the bottom, completely fill the hole with epoxy and then twist the threaded rod into the hole in the clockwise motion to fill the threads with the epoxy. Once the rod is seated, wipe any excess epoxy away from the threaded rod, keeping the threads as clean as possible. While waiting for the epoxy to cure, assemble the column leveling plates. Insert the leveling studs into the four holes on the plate and secure with a nut on both sides of the plate. Once the epoxy has cured, you can continue the column installation by setting the column leveling plate and adjusting the leveling studs as needed. Once the plate is level, secure the plate with a nut and washer. Add a half inch hex nut and the coupler. Then tighten the nuts on the leveling studs. The leveling plate has four small holes to allow for installation of tapcon screws to prevent additional plate movement. Use these as a guide for drilling pilot holes and then secure the plate with the provided tapcon screws. Be sure to square the bottom of the column before setting it onto the column leveling plate. Apply painter's tape to the column for marking, as well as to protect the surface of the column from being scratched while you square the column. Next, place the base trim over the leveling plate and set the column through the base trim onto the leveling plate, checking to make sure the column is resting in the grooves. Thread the long rod into the coupler that you added near the base of the column. Once the long threaded rod is tightened into the coupler, add the mid trim and capital from the top of the column and then add the top mounting plate. Since the remaining components are installed above the columns, preparation of the components on the ground will make their installation much easier once you get them in the air. Prepare the beams for installation by following the provided instructions. Measure and drill each beam for installation as well as mark rafter placement on top of the beams. Next, prepare the rafters by installing the stainless steel rafter beam brackets to make working with the rafters easier once placed on top of the beams. Install the beams by sliding them over the threaded rods, then add a storm load washer and two hex nuts. Be sure to tighten the hex nuts according to the instructions received with your pergola kit. If you happen to have integrated lighting in your Trex pergola, make sure that you do not pinch the wiring between the column and beam and check your lighting connection before moving on. This Trex pergola has a four beam design. The additional beams are mounted using stainless steel brackets, which are slid into the beam for attachment. Install the rafters by positioning them using the marks that you created and secure them to the beams using the one and a half inch screws. We recommend starting with the center rafters and working toward each side. Once you've installed the rafters, stringers will be attached across the top of the rafters. Install the stringers according to the measurements on the installation drawing. Once you have secured the first stringer, you can use spacers to quickly install the remaining stringers. Now that the main structure of your pergola is erected, there are a few smaller items to be done to finish the installation. 
If your column capital does not include retaining clips to hold it in place, secure the capital with a single screw on two sides to hold it in place. Lastly, drill weep holes at the lowest point of each rafter and beam. We recommend that the holes be placed to keep them hidden from sight. On this outdoor structure, the homeowner has added an outdoor fan and infrared heaters. These simple options will provide a cool breeze in the summer or additional warmth for outdoor entertaining during spring and fall. As you can see, installing your new Trex pergola is easily done by following the included instructions. If you have any questions about your pergola installation, please visit trexpergola.com or call us at 888-908-4965.